this is Sandy. Okay, so we're going to take a minute and talk about building to make sure your window fits. The window that I'm working on is vinyl, so I know that it's square and I have checked it. Um, I measure top and bottom in both sides and it is square. It's just actually a little bit over 21 and a quarter by 33 and a quarter it's by about a sixteenth, maybe even a quarter inch. So I am, I measured that 21 and a quarter by 33 and a quarter. And I actually, when I measure, I always start at the one inch line, which means you got to add an inch on the other side. Now the build size was 34 and a quarter. Notice that I'm actually just a smidgen underneath that. Um, I'm about an eighth of an inch under that, depending on where I hold the camera. <laughs> and that's all the way around. So I deduct an eighth of an inch lengthwise and heightwise. Then, um, and remember, it was 21 and a quarter. I start with a one inch, so it should be, I'm sorry, 33 and a quarter, so it should be 34 and a quarter minus an eighth. Um, then I need to decide what I'm gonna frame it with. And I decided I'm going to go with 3 h inch zinc. So the next thing I do is I take that on my pattern and I actually lay it out and I trace the outside of it all the way around. And of course zinc has a channel in it and so I use a piece of glass and I put that glass in the channel. I get it in one handed, sorry. Here we go. And then normally I have a fine tip Sharpie marker, ultra fine, but I don't have one. But then I just trace on it what the channel depth is. Believe it or not, there is different brands and different depths for channels. So this way I know. And so when I pull it out, you can see it's about an eighth of an inch. And so what I do then, just to make it easy on myself, I know that when I place my glass in, I need to remember an eighth of an inch all the way around. And so what I'll do there, notice that um, on my drawing I just use pencil, so I know that that mark there is my zinc. And then I'll just take an eighth of an inch, and I, I usually just, um, I've done it so long I can eyeball it, but I just draw, and you can use a ruler if you're more comfortable with that, but just draw a dotted line all the way around. That's the size that you need extra to cut your glass so that it fits in the zinc. Do not allow your glass to grow any farther than your line because you don't want it to be an eighth of an inch or even a sixteenth of an inch too big. It's better to be a little bit too small than too big. So check your zinc. This is just the easy way for me and I've done it for years this way and it's worked every single time. I've never had a window that didn't fit. And so I'll go all the way around with that little dotted line and that tells me where I need to cut my, my pattern when I go to cut that out. Just little tips and, and tricks that I've learned along the way. Hope it helps.